It's Christmas time, the most wonderful time of the year. Christmas time. I'm just kidding. Trying to give y'all some entertainment, yo. Zoom, 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 zoom. How you dab? Is that old yet? Is the dab old? Is the dab old? What is up guys? It is day four and I'm back at you again with another video. Y'all better not be getting tired of me because we got 12 days of this going. So come on, get into this. Today we are gonna be talking about some do's and don'ts for the holiday season. I done seen a few people taking it a little overboard with this whole shopping and party planning and stuff. And I think it's time for us to do away with some things this year. Whether you're throwing a party, whether you getting gifts for people, or even if you're being a guest at a party. Everybody got some responsibilities. Now, don't take any of this to heart. I'm just here trying to help you, trying to make sure yo, you know, you keep your peace. You ain't ready to break nobody's neck while you trying to plan some stuff. Everybody getting on your nerves to keep all the stress levels down. I thought it would be nice if we would just go over some do's and don'ts for the holiday season. First things first, don't overspend on gifts. If you ain't got it, you ain't got it. Kanye shrugs. Don't try to go around impressing people, trying to do stuff that you don't regularly do. Like, there's no point. It's 2017. Save your coins, bro. If all you can afford is some socks and toboggans and stuff, get them socks and toboggans. Don't kill yourself trying to, like, run your credit up, buying these phones and electronics. These kids is getting pricey, boy. Like, no, I'm sorry. I'm an advocate for being practical, economical. Please do not spend all your life savings on some Christmas gifts. This is one day that happens out of the year and there's no point in, you know, going overboard. Like I know everybody's gonna spend and ball out of control or whatever, but look, if you don't have it, do not do it. If you're in school, the expectation is for you to be broke if you're in school. So please do not feel obligated to, you know, get people these gifts or these extravagant gifts that, you know, just don't go overboard. Like just, just don't go overboard, all right? Number two, do give thoughtful gifts. Now look. Thoughtful means, it doesn't mean expensive necessarily. Thoughtful means like, you know, I was thinking about you. Like, it's nothing major. It's, it's from the heart. Who knows, you might spend less money on a thoughtful gift. Like, you thought she wanted that uh iPhone 10 or iPhone X, whatever it is. And all she wanted was a pack of pillows. Them damn pillows that I showed y'all in that shopping vlog. Like, let's be practical people, all right? Getting a thoughtful gift. You may end up getting something that doesn't end up at Goodwill. And I'm gonna be buying it from the Goodwill. One man's trash is another man's treasure. Number three, don't put these presents all in gift bags. First of all, it looks crazy under the tree. And second of all, it makes people feel nice to know that you hand wrap the gifts. Don't get me wrong. If you don't know how to wrap no gifts, please get gift bags. I'm not saying to, you know, go ball out of control and have somebody, you know, pay to wrap your gifts for you. I'm just saying, in parts of giving a thoughtful gift, even hand wrapping it just gives that extra little on the top. There's just something about that hand wrap gift that says, I love you. Number four, don't re-gift gifts, especially to the person that gave it to you, bruh. Like, come on, bruh. It's nothing worse than getting a gift that you done gave as a gift. Unless that gift was lit, I'll take it. Number five, please give batteries to the gifts that you get. There is nothing worse than giving your girl a toy and she can't even use it. Like, what am I gonna do with this? I'ma just sit it up here on the dresser, that's it? I'ma just do that? Oh, okay. Big no-no. Nah, but for real, for real, give batteries to the kids' gifts too, please. Now, let's move on to the partying. Christmas partying, 
Christmas party yet. All right. So, number six. Please don't show up at the party at the end of the party. Ah, y'all thought I was going to say don't show up late. Nope. Because first of all, I'm always late to everything. So, I'm not even going to do that to myself. However, I'm also a fan of showing up fashionably late. And that's just because, you know, because I'm the life of the party, you know. I want everybody to be there before I get it popping. You know. You know. I say to arrive within an hour and 15 minutes into the party. At this time, the party has already started, and you don't gotta be in that awkward beginning of the party stage. Like when people just coming in, or you like the first and only one, they still getting it together, and you up there like, oh hey, and you end up being with the crew, the, the prep crew, or the setup crew. You be mad as hell. You think you about to come in there and get lit. And they like, uh, can you put them tables up over there? And can you hang that garland up there on that wall? I'm showing up fashionably late so that the party has started. People are there. People chatting and everything. Like, let me know when the party get going. Number seven. Please, please, please. Now, this is a do. Dress for the occasion. All right, people, it's Christmas. You don't see half these people all the time. Family is coming in town. Y'all gonna wanna take group pictures. Don't nobody wanna see you in your work uniform up here in the picture, like, photo bombing and stuff. Like, what is that? Like, dress nice. I'm not saying put on no suit and tie or nothing. I'm just saying, you know, dress for the occasion. Look presentable. Like, if you gonna be taking some pictures, Look nice. Talk about, yeah, this was me in 2017. I had to go to work right after that. Like, no, we don't want to see that. You messing up our pictures. Can you slide? Then you're going to be mad when nobody want to take a picture with you. Like, get out of here. Number eight, give the hostess of the party a gift. If you hosting the party, shouts out to you, and I hope you get a bunch of gifts. But whenever you're going to a party, Proper etiquette, I guess you'd say, is to bring a gift. Like, it doesn't have to be anything major, even if it's just a holiday card. Like, bring something. Like, make me feel special for throwing this party. Like, get a bottle of wine. All I'm saying is just be a fantastic guest and show the hostess your appreciation for the invite. Who knows? Next year, you might get a little giffy gift. Oh, snap. Number nine. Don't be bringing nobody no nasty ass fruitcake, all right? Number 10, don't just show up to the party to get your gifts and eat. This is a time for family, for love, for y'all to be singing Christmas carols and playing games together. You know, reminiscing on the good times and loving and hugging each other. And here you come talking about uh, can somebody move their car? They blocking me in the driveway. Like, you're a buzzkill. Get out. Like, why did you even come here if you're going to leave in five minutes? Like, that's trifling. Stop it. Number 11, don't overeat. I'll just leave it at that. Just because everybody's cooking all the good food does not mean you're supposed to smash it all in one day. Like, relax. Like, you're going to have a heart attack. Relax, bro. Gluttony is a sin. Number 12. Don't talk politics. Don't nobody want to hear about what's going on in the world at no damn Christmas time. I'm trying to enjoy this drink, open these gifts, play these games, and reminisce on the good times. And you up here like, well, you know, over in Korea or over in Africa. Like, no, we don't want to hear that right now. You are killing my vibe, bruh. Talk sports or something else. Like, we don't want to talk about that. And last but not least, number 13. Y'all see how I gave y'all that extra day right there? We doing the 12 days of Vlogmas, but I'm giving you 13 do's and don'ts, all right, people? One more additional. Do not, do not, do not, don't, no, no do it. I don't know how to say it in any other language. Like, I'm pretty sure it's like no in all languages. 
please do not drink and drive. Do not drink and drive. I'm so tired of hearing about these people getting in these accidents or killing somebody because they drinking and driving. Everybody knows it's Christmas time. Everybody knows it's time to get lit. So bring somebody with you that's gonna be a designated driver or hop in a car with somebody or call a Uber. Let's be smart. Let's go into 2018 smart this year. Let's be civilized adults. Let's know our limits. Let's be able to hold our alcohol, and if not, don't drink. And if you're an emotional drinker, and you're trying to fight with everybody at the party, nobody wants to fight you. Like, we're just trying to have fun. Like, relax. Like, why are you mad? Nobody even said anything. We like your J's you got for Christmas, bro. Like, relax. Too much be going on with these police. You don't need to be hurting yourself or others. And you gonna be mad, mad when you're not going to work the next day. Cause I know you have to. Cause you gonna be at home throwing up or you in a jail cell staring at the ceiling. So I know out of all of these do's and don'ts, it was a little bit more don'ts than it was do's. But of course if it was a do, just do it, right? I had so much fun making this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it too. Be sure to click that like button and subscribe as well so that you can follow me every time that I'm uploading some new content. I hope you guys enjoy the holiday and I'll see you tomorrow. Peace.